friends, welcome to Prep Joy Current Affairs. I am Swati Nair. In our YouTube channel, we run you through daily current affairs quizzes from our Prep Joy app. We put up a video every day. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon below to get daily updates. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first question for the day is, when has the 157th birth anniversary of Lala Lajpat Rai been celebrated? The options are E 28 January, B 26 January, C 27 January, D 25 January. The right answer is A 28 January. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Lala Lajpat Rai is a freedom fighter who is also known as Punjab Kesari. The second question for the day is, which country has been chosen as the guest nation in the 12th Hyderabad Literature Festival? The options are A. Norway, B. UK, C. France, D. USA. The right answer is B. UK. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, HLF will host a live virtual drama where actors will participate from different parts of the country and viewers can watch it in the comfort of their homes. The third question for the day is, recently Tata Sky has announced to change its name to what? The options are A. Tata Plus, B. Tata Go, C. Tata Play, D. None of these. The right answer is C. Tata Plus. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the company has mentioned that its business interest grew beyond direct to home services. The fourth question for the day is, recently passed away Anil Avachat was a famous. The options are A. Journalist, B. Singer, C. Lyricist, D. Author. The right answer is D. Author. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the author was 77 years old and he was the founder and director of Maktangan Rehabilitation Centre. The fifth question for the day is, South Morbong has become the first ODF plus village of which state? The options are A. Tripura, B. Manipur, C. Sikkim, D. Mizoram. The right answer is D. Mizoram. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, it has managed to fulfill all the standards according to Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen Phase 2 guidelines. The sixth question for the day is, recently the World Bank has approved a loan of 1000 crore rupees for which state? The options are A. Bihar, B. Odisha, C. West Bengal, D. Andhra Pradesh. The right answer is C. West Bengal. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the Mamta Banerjee government runs over 400 programs that provide social assistance, protection, care services and jobs. The seventh question for the day is, where will the Asia Games 2022 be held? The options are A. Indonesia, B. China, C. Nepal, D. Malaysia. The right answer is B. China. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, India is a member of South Asia Zone of the Olympic Council of Asia and one of the only seven countries that have competed in all the editions of the Asia Games. The eighth question for the day is, according to the recent report, what percentage of girls under 15 years of age in India are suffering from anemia? The options are A. 46%, B. 39%, C. 42%, D. 50%. The right answer is A. 46%. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, according to the recent report, the Indian girls are suffering from anemia more than any other country in the Asia. The ninth question for the day is, Google has announced to invest how much million dollars in Bharti Airtel? The options are A5, B3, C1, D4. The right answer is C1. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Google will pick up 1.28% stake and in scaling up offer of India's second largest mobile operator. The tenth question for the day is, how many medals have been won by Jammu and Kashmir Police for gallantry? The options are A. 129, B. 189, C. 110, D. 115. The right answer is D. 115. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, fighting the 32-year-long armed insurgency, the JK police have got as many as 115 police medals for gallantry announced by the government of India. The 11th question for the day is, which country's Asia has changed its name to capital A? The options are A. Malaysia, B. Singapore, C. Thailand, D. Cambodia. The right answer is A. Malaysia. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, Malaysia's Air Asia Group said on Friday, it has changed its name, its listed holding company to capital A to reflect the diversity of its business portfolio. The twelfth question for the day is, who has launched Niper Research Portal? The options are A. Narendra Modi, B. Dr. Mansukh Mandavya, C. Piyush Goyal, D. Dharmendra Pradhan. The right answer is B. Dr. Mansukh Mandavya. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the minister stated the country already has young talent and human resource, but 
this pool needs to be channelized effectively through industry academia cooperation. The third eighth question for the day is, which country has recently declared an environmental emergency due to an oil spill? The options are A. Iraq, B. Saudi Arabia, C. Peru, D. Brazil. The right answer is C. Peru. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, one aim of TICRI is to be better organized the various agencies and team working in the aftermath of the disaster, said the government. The 14th question for the day is, which states Satya Mangalam Tiger Reserve has won the TX2 award? The options are A. Karnataka, B. Tamil Nadu, C. Kerala, D. Telangana. The right answer is B. Tamil Nadu. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, the Tiger Reserve won this year's TX2 award for doubling the population of wild tigers. We have reached towards the end of the video. This is the final question for the day. Recently, in which country online safety bill has been implemented? The options are A. America, B. China, C. Russia, D. Australia. The right answer is D. Australia. When it comes to this question, all you have to remember is, this bill has come into effect from Sunday, allowing adults to report cases of online bullying in the country. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments if you have downloaded PrepChoy app. If you haven't, find the link in the description. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 6pm. Happy learning!